Okay, just hooked up this Hisense 312 OG. What is it? The AX312 OG soundbar. And we're going to test it out here with the, the Roku TV. So it looks like it's already recognized this type of soundbar you can see on the screen. Please use your existing Roku TV remote for setup. You won't need your soundbar remote. So here's the soundbar remote. Get rid of that thing. We'll just hit continue. Let it connect to the soundbar. Mostly we want to get the sound test out of this thing, let you hear how the subwoofer sounds, hear how the soundbar itself sounds, and see what different sound modes are available within the Roku platform. Last TV starts turned on, so it'll let everything work well. You flip it on. Sounds like it's pretty loud. I'm going to turn it down now. Nice, I'm liking it already. Roku cinematic sound. What? This may have been a better choice than I thought. Holy cow, sounds great already. Oh, I didn't know I was gonna do this. What? Oh, it unlocked some special features in the Roku TV. Oh, this is epic. That's the other great thing about it is it's cheap and available. Look at that. Let's check out some. Oh, there's a soundbar thing right there. What is that? Okay, so you could have an HDMI going through the soundbar and into this input if you wanted to. We're not doing that. And then I guess once you're watching stuff, you can change the sound modes, things like that. Look what just happened. <laughs> you knocked over everything, dude. I guess the video's over. No, bottom line. Bottom line. I guess. Mom, stop. This thing's awesome. It was a hit.